Well, today's video is all about experimentation. I'm still a newbie to this analog film world, but recently I found some expired film in my dad's belongings that's expired by about 15 years. And I don't really know how to deal with expired film, but luckily I have a friend, Bren, who's here today. And let's just say that his username on Instagram is literally expired Bren, so he knows a thing or two about expired film. So I'm gonna get some tips and tricks from him today and try and see what I can get from this old roll of gold 200. And yeah, hopefully we have some fun, see some cool things, and get some cool photos. So let's jump into it. Let's say it's someone's first time shooting expired film. What should they keep in mind or do differently from a normal roll? Um, make sure they got both their fingers crossed. Don't go under any ladders because you're gonna need all the luck you can get. If you're gonna shoot expired film like a gold 200, like get a five pack of it. Otherwise, you know, you might kind of learn from your mistakes, but then that's gonna be your only roll to have even used. They say there's like this decade rule, one stop for every 10 years, but that's not really like a golden rule and it's not one really one okay. should take okay. the heart too closely. Mm -hmm. But at the same time for something like gold, even if you do overexpose it, when it's fresh, it's gonna turn out pretty decent. So what's, what's the harm, I guess? Yeah. All right, and with those tips and tricks in mind, I loaded up a roll of the expired Gold 200, and I rated my ISO at 80 just to be safe, and I crossed my fingers before taking my first photo. And I think Bren was right about needing luck with expired film because in his own words, these photos looked deep fried. I mean, I'm not really surprised about the results from this film. It was probably stored in 100 degree temperatures for many years, so to see any results is actually pretty impressive. But there still was a little bit of me hoping that it would look like a new roll of Gold 200. So the biggest thing I noticed was really just the massive color shift and increase of grain as well as reduction in contrast, so I had to do some editing to try and correct these colors as best I could. But sometimes when you don't get exactly what you want color-wise, the best thing can just be to convert it to black and white and add some contrast. And honestly, it looks pretty good this way. All right, we were trekking upwards and onwards, just doing some exploring along the river here. It is beautiful. I think these are gonna yield some pretty neat shots if I expose it correctly. But since this is a test into expired film, I might as well show you the color results. I'm a huge fan of this Canon FD 35mm f2, but I figure I might as well switch it up now and again. So we're going with the good old 50. It was at this shot that I started to notice this bubbling that came over the film and I'm not really sure what happened here but I'm assuming it's because it was stored in heat for a lot of years and it stayed for the rest of the roll in case you were wondering. I only have a 24 frame roll today but I am still struggling to finish it so I'm trying really hard to not think too much about my photos. That probably looked god awful but you know, motion blur is fun. Might as well give it a shot. All right, and now switching to the 28 for some wider stuff. Sure, these shots aren't exactly what I wanted, but it's all part of the adventure, right? Well, maybe this is one spot that I would have loved to not have bubbly, color shifted, and grainy expired film, because look at this view. But all things considered, I don't hate these shots. All right, so I really want a shot looking down this way, but the dynamic range between these buildings in the shadow and the snow and the sun is huge. So we're gonna see how the dynamic range on this expired film holds up. The answer, not super well, but I still like the framing of this shot despite its extreme color shifting, and it does look a lot better in black and white. So anyway, that was just a quick look into my first experimentation with expired film, and I really didn't know what to expect, and I still don't really know what I expected. It's safe to say that the results aren't quite what I wanted to see, but it was still a super fun experiment. Will I do it again? I don't know. We'll see. I have a lot of expired film now, so maybe if I'm feeling creative, I'll whip it out again, but for now, I think I'll stick to the newer stuff and just play it safe. 
It's risky out there, but if you find some expired film that might have not been stored in 100 degree temperatures, maybe give it a shot. It could yield some fun results. But anyway, that's it for today, and I will see you all in the next video.